So we're gonna prep the shoulders before we get into some swimmer work. I'm gonna ask that you raise your arms up about a T formation, so parallel to the ground, out to the side. You're welcome to either reach long through your fingertips or make a really tight fist. So before we go into the full movement, let's just internally rotate both shoulders. You notice the bicep and elbow will go with it, and then externally rotate both shoulders. Hold that, we're gonna keep the right arm in position. You're going to internally rotate that left shoulder though. Good, that's your starting position. So we're gonna think of a corkscrew here. And now for a minute, you will switch back and forth. So rotate to the other side, alternating. You will hold at your end range and then rotate back and switch. Doing your best to lengthen long through your arms. Do not allow your rib cage to move at all. Keeping that head up really tall. We have about 45 seconds left here. You can think we're just prepping the shoulders for the next uh, movement series we have coming up. So we're really working on internal and external rotation of your shoulder capsule. 30 seconds left. And no need to rush through it. Take your time holding at your end range. If anything, maybe squeeze through it a little bit more and then switch back. 15 seconds left. and finish up your last rep, and then you can relax your arms. So we're gonna go into shoulder swimmers here. We're only gonna do two reps because we're gonna work on shoulder swimmers a little bit more in another base position. We will stay here. That's gonna have your hands behind your head. So I'm gonna cue you guys through two reps. Hands are behind your head, elbows are pulled back. If you have a little bit more uh, mobility in your shoulders, you're welcome to cross your hands over. So just pay attention to my cueing here. Still pull your ribs down. You're going to pull the elbows back, pull your hands away from your head, and then from here, hinge from your elbows so that you're at a Y formation with both arms. We now internally rotate from both shoulders, start to track out to the side, then back behind you. Hold that in extension, reaching as far as you can behind you, and then hinge from your elbows and park on your lower back. Again, if you have a little bit extra range of motion, you're welcome to cross your hands or raise them up higher. Pull your shoulder blades back, pull your hands away from your lower back, Hinge, arms are straight. We now externally rotate out to the side, tracking up overhead into that Y formation. Pause there, hinge from your elbows, bring your hands behind your head, relax for a second. We just have one more rep. Elbows are back, hands pull back. Hinge from your elbows so that we're at that Y formation. We'll internally rotate from there, start to reach out to the side, track back behind you doing your best to keep your rib cage down. Once you are in max extension, hinge from your elbows and park on your lower back. Shoulders pull back, elbows back, hinge, straighten the arms out, externally rotate, start to track up and around, passing through that Y formation, hinge from your elbows and park behind your head. Good. We're now gonna set up in that single arm quadruped position for some more swimmers. So let's go back to quadruped. Shoulders are stacked over your wrists, hips are stacked over your knees. We're gonna keep that right arm locked out, left hand's gonna go behind your head. So we have three shoulder swimmers here, I'll cue you through the first rep. Do your best to uh, keep your trunk parallel to the ground and that right arm locked out. Let's raise that left elbow up, left hand pulls away from your head, it will then hinge out to that Y formation. You will internally rotate, reach out to the side, up towards the ceiling. When you are in max extension, you will hinge from your elbow and slowly park on your lower back. You can allow your shoulder blade to drop for a second. Pull that shoulder up, hand comes up. Hinge from the elbow, straighten that arm out. Start to externally rotate out to the side, finding that Y formation, hinging from your elbow and parking behind your head. Two more reps from that position, go ahead. Again passing through each checkpoint. Looks smooth, Anita. Nice work, Luke. Not smooth. Luke and I have similar shoulders, specifically in extension, so watch Anita. <laughs> but worry about yourselves and your own shoulders. We have one more rep to go here. Let's get it, third rep. Both Anita and Luke are doing a great job of keeping that right arm locked out and not allowing any rotation through their trunk. After that third rep, let's put the left arm down. 
lock your left arm out. If you need a little breather in between, that's fine. Right hand will go behind your head. Again, I will cue you through your first rep. Do your best to not rotate at your trunk. Pull your right elbow up, your right hand pulls away from your head. Hinge from that elbow, straighten out to that Y formation. Internally rotate, reach long through those fingertips, start to reach up towards the ceiling into extension, hinge from your elbow and park on your lower back. Shoulder blade pulls up, hand presses away from that lower back, hinge from the elbow, start to unwind out to the side, passing through that T or Y formation, park on your head. We have two more reps to go. Do your best to mimic the same tempo you had on your other side. No need to rush through it. Slow park on the lower back, nicely done. Shoulder up, hand pulls away. And we have one more rep left to go. Passing through all of your checkpoints. Finishing up that last rep, and rest. 